holding a razorback sucker in your hand is akin to holding a living fossil there. Very unique looking fish, and they definitely look prehistoric. My name is Abe Karam, and I am a biologist. I am currently involved with conservation of razorback sucker in Lake Mojave. I enjoy spending time in places such as Lake Mojave because it causes me to reflect on how humans have changed the landscape and what that means for the species that are holding on. Historically, there were millions of razorback sucker throughout the lower Colorado River basin. As non-native fishes were introduced and the dams went up, the numbers crashed. Lake Mojave is important for conservation efforts for razorback sucker because it had one of the largest wild populations of razorback suckers left in the lower Colorado River. What razorbacks are up against in Lake Mojave today is that all life stages, from eggs to adults, are vulnerable to predation by non-native fishes. Every year we go out to the reservoir in the springtime when the razorback suckers are spawning and we collect larvae. And because there are so many non-native predators, we need to bring those larvae to fish hatchery where they are reared for a number of years, a few years, and they are repatriated back to the lake when they have reached a size large enough to survive. I think it was two years ago that we found a transmitter from a 20-inch razorback sucker in the stom stomach of a striped bass. Non-native fishes have been introduced either on purpose for sport fishing purposes, on accident, but one way or another, they wound up in Lake Mojave by the hands of man. It's kind of created a culture that hasn't fully appreciated what was here before we really altered the system. Razorback suckers do have a fighting chance, but the idea that their existence is dependent on the hands of biologists who are helping them to complete their life cycle is pretty much a given at this point. It can be a somewhat grim thought in terms of the future of native fishes, but the collective efforts and vision of a lot of people who spent their careers um, championing the plight of native fish have ensured that this species is still around today. Mm -hmm.